All right, everybody. So we're going to be continuing the little Xeno Nade World Tour that I've been doing over the past week or so now. We're using the Starfire build. We're using Weekend Clear, and we're using obviously the Xeno Phase to go ahead and put in some pretty good work. And today we're hopping over into the Vow of the Disciple. Now, real quick, the one thing I do want to mention, at least for the Caretaker fight specifically, is that Into the Light is such an absolute beast of a mod, as it really does allow you to crank up your grenades, especially if you're standing in an Empowering Rift or a Well of Radiance. You're going to be able to absolutely juice this boss even without having any good heavy. I also want to note that for the caretaker fight, only three of us in the fire team are actually using this build. And then for the rogue fight, only four of us were actually using this build. Okay. We were actually helping out one of our buddies get through this raid for his very first time. And we decided to go ahead and use the Xenonade build throughout it. Now for the caretaker fight, we really were not able to get that much use out of Phantom Might, unfortunately. But we were still able to, almost able to push him into floors. The build doesn't really exceed in burst dps rather it does exceed in just a longer period the damage phase goes on or until you're out of xeno phage ammo with just how the caretaker fight works specifically you feel like you're better off just going fully investing into nades anyways because you're gonna have to spread your damage across three plates across each floor now when we move over to rogue that's gonna be a different story now like i said earlier we only have four people with the actual build for this fight for this footage and we are able to get some use out of fonta might at least early in the damage phase however with this man shooting all these lasers we're not able to get too too much benefit out of into the light or at least as much as we are in the caretaker fight remember into the light is a raid mod from Vow the disciple that really juices your grenade damage and recharge rate whenever you are not under the pervading darkness debuff and because of all the lasers that rogue shoots you're gonna more often than not be affected by it so your xenophage can actually shine pretty well here now i will say it might be a little tricky hitting your actual gl shots to once again reapply your weekend clear and reload your xenophage which is very crucial for the build because you do not want to be stuck reloading that xenophage i'm telling you bro and as you can see bro with just four people we get one phase this dude with five i'm telling you even with only four people we absolutely juice this dude's health bar and like i said once again one of our buddies is just getting back into the game and our other buddy was a titan so he didn't even have the build on so i'm gonna have to get some homies to try and run that back for the one phase so i'll probably upload that as a store whenever we get that off and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all be safe out there.